Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in this playlist and in this tutorial we'll be talking about uh, some miscellaneous operators in Perl and uh, these are operators we haven't talked about in uh, the last 5 or 6 tutorials that we had on operators and uh, some of these are actually quite interesting and you might want to play with them and use them often in your Perl scripts. So I have a script here that's called miscellaneous underscore operators and in the script on line number 3 I have created a scalar variable called my underscore string which has the text I'll be back with an exclamation symbol and a space. Now let's say you want to display this string uh, 20 times on the screen. Uh, you could do that by typing the print statement 20 times although that would be very time consuming and stupid. Uh, or you could create a loop that would have 20 iterations and you know write the print statement in it just once and you know that would be a smarter approach but again in Perl you don't even have to do that uh, to print a string uh, you know a given number of times you just have to put the alphabet X in lowercase between uh, the string and the number of times you want to display it so you know if you want to display it 20 times and you would have to type my underscore string uh, the alphabet X and then uh, 20 and of course this has to go along with the print statement and by the way I have this within uh, parentheses so you know that's uh, change and uh, this string would be displayed 20 times and we're going to check out the output in a while after I finish talking about the other operators and uh, the next one that we're going to check out is the range operator and this one uh, we've already seen a couple of times in the course and it's uh, you know uh, for autocomplete basically uh, let's say you want to create an array variable called my underscore list in which you want to put numbers from 1 till 10 like 1, 2, 3, 4, so on till 10. Uh, you could either type all the numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Uh, that's okay if you want to create a list of 10 numbers but let's say you want to create a list of 50 numbers. It would uh, take a lot of time to type numbers from 1 to 50 and you know uh, commas in between. So if you want to do something like this then you could use a range operator which is nothing but two dot uh, symbols put together so within parentheses you would type 1 and then double dots and then the uh, end value which in our case would be 10 and then I have a print statement on line number 7 to see the output from uh, the list my list and then uh, let's move on to the pre and post increment and decrement operators so I've got a scalar variable called my underscore var on line number 9 I've created it with the value 20 now uh, let's say you want to uh, add one to this uh, variable and by that I mean increment it by one and uh, also see the value so if you want to add the you know value one to the variable before displaying it then you would actually use the pre increment operator and that is nothing but uh, you know the plus symbol used twice so I have a print statement on line number 10 with two plus symbols before the variable name so you know these are going to uh, update uh, my var uh, make it 21 and then display the value so from this print statement we should see 21 as the output and uh, similarly the pre decrement operator would subtract one from the variable and uh, then display the value so the print statement on line number 12 should give us uh, 20 because here uh, my var would have been changed to 21 this would again bring it back to 20 and show the value and then post increment and post decrement operators let you display the value uh, and then actually make the change so if you would use the plus plus symbol after the variable name like I have in the print statement on line number 14 then we would first see the value and then the value would be updated after this print statement has you know done its job so the value would be changed to 21 and just to ensure that that has happened I have another print statement on line number 15 to just see the value in my var so this should show 20 and then this should show 21 and similarly for post decrement over here we will see 21 as the value and then the decrement will happen after this print statement has executed we'll come back to 20 and then uh, I have a print statement on line number 18 to see the value in my var so 
eventually we should see uh, 20 uh, as the final value so I'll save the file and I will press F5 to execute it and there we go first of all we see the text I'll be back uh, 20 times and then we see numbers from 1 till 10 in uh, the list my list so the range operator and uh, the repeat operator uh, th those two have done their job and then finally we see all these numbers so uh, for pre-increment we see 21 pre-decrement we see 20 and then for post increment we first see 20 and then we see 21 and then for post decrement we first see 21 and then we see 20 so that's uh, it in this video I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video till then take care